Hi everybody, welcome once again to a Low on Health Daily Rambling, me just going over what I've done the last past day or so. Um, funny thing today happened, what basically because my sleep schedule is like, sub ah, sub ah. because my sleep schedule is so very, very off, um, I try to even go to bed at like 6, and I'm usually dull, I can't fall asleep until 7, like it almost takes like half an hour to an hour to actually get to sleep for some reason nowadays, just because I guess I don't expend myself physically or mentally as much as I used to, naturally. But, uh, like, my only real thing I wanted to do today was go to the bank to deposit some checks. And, of course, by the time I woke up, got the ball rolling, shower, breakfast, and all that stuff, um, I went to go to the bank, and actually the doors were locked. I was like, oh, well, it's a stupid holiday. And I look, I'm like, oh, the bank closes at 4, and I got there at 4.10. Uh, not fault from the bank whatsoever, but I just really didn't have a clear gla uh, grasp on the time and how much it just kind of flies by now. So it's kind of funny, uh, one of these days I gotta get myself just somehow back in the loop, either stay up really late or go to bed early, but I mean it's just really weird to have just kind of an ambiguous time frame to do everything, which is what I've been doing recently. Uh, moving on though, the big news of the day was we got uh, the Modern Warfare 2 map pack, uh, we got the price range for it, in which case it's going to be uh, 1200 points, which is going to be $15. Um, now a lot of people are all hubbub about it, it's basically, you know, $15 for five maps. Uh, two of the maps are from a map pack from the first Modern Warfare, but they are kind of reamped. So theoretically, three new maps, two of them people may or may not have seen before or may or may not paid for them before. Um, usually I have qualms with DLC. I usually don't like to buy anything unless it's more than five. If it's more than $5, I don't even bother. I don't like DLC when it's actually like 10 or 15 or $20. But uh, with this, uh, you know, I had to buy a new points card, so I bought a $20 points card for, you know, Xbox Live anyway. I kind of was figuring that, hey, if I'm already spending more than 5 bucks for it, I don't really care if it's 10 or 15 20 maybe. But what it comes down to is with Modern Warfare 2, to me anyway, I've put in easily over 250 hours into a game, that game, which is kind of absurd considering what it is. I mean, you really don't think of that many hours, unless it's like an MORPG, like World of Warcraft or something, but I've enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 so much, where I almost play it easily for two to three hours every single night with a group of buddies, and we all have a good time, we chat, and we shoot people, and it's just fun to play the game over and over again, and have prestige for like, I think the sixth time now, so it keeps it kind of fresh. I don't mind paying $15 to basically get more maps to kind of just have some new stuff to do. Um, granted, it's just maps. There's no new playlist. There's no new co-op this or that. So it is kind of disappointing. But when you think about it, might as well. I mean, I bought that points card. And money's already gone. What that does that basically mean? It means if it was eight bucks, I would have bought it, and I would have bought some rock band songs. Now that it's fifteen, I'm just not gonna rock, buy some rock band songs. Which is kind of funny considering the money I put towards rock band songs. I probably don't put even close to the amount of time I would on Modern Warfare Two. Um, there was basically some uh, consensus and some griping in between the usual groups of players today, but what it came down to is we're all like, you know what, we enjoy this game so much, who cares? So basically, it looks like my main running crew, the majority of us, will be getting the map pack. Just, you know, who cares if it's $15? I know that's hard for me to say because I don't really have any good income or anything, but this is something that I've vestedly and just keep, I have a lot of time invested in, and I really enjoy it, and I think it is actually worth it. It is easy for me to justify it. Um, which I know for a lot of you, if you know me, is very hard to justify paying money for anything. Even food's one of the things I have a hard time justifying paying. But nonetheless, Modern Warfare 2 pack, $15. I'm going to get it, and I think the three of us, some three, I like got about three people together, we're probably going to actually like, pull an all-nighter and I'll wait for it to release and uh, probably be one of the first couple people to play, play in a private match. Uh, moving on here, Penny Arcade had their comic update for the day, in which case they kind of poke fun at the Final Fantasy XIII uh, Lingo and Mythos and whatnot, in which case they have like C and LC, and then they don't even mention the Pulse LC or a Cocoon C or LC. It gets really kind of convoluted and confusing, and it's kind of funny for them to kind of poke jab at that they also notice it. And I have been getting a couple things from people saying, you know, eh, this game really isn't that great. It's kind of convoluted. It's kind of autopiloting. You know, why even bother? Uh, one person actually mentioned too with the Sphere Grid, I don't know, people that are playing it, that there's really not that much choice to it. You basically follow a linear path, and like every other five times, you could either go off and get more strength, but you really don't have much else to do. It's kind of just, why even bother spending the points and using that little bar stupid grid? Just, since the game's so automated, why don't you just give the skills to them? I heard, uh, one of my people actually mentioned that on one of their Twitter accounts, which I thought was kind of funny. But uh, I'm really interested to see what two other people, uh, two people I do hold their opinions very high of, 
they're playing through it and they haven't gotten to my, the point where I was at yet, so I'm waiting to see when they get there if they're going to continue playing it. In which case, I think they might, but power to them if they do. As a funny little video thing, uh, I found this recently. Uh, basically, somebody took uh, the Sabotage, the Beastie Boys music video from a long time ago, and somebody actually did a shot-for-shot shot thing with uh, the, uh, the uh, Beastie Boys music video and uh, Battlestar. Which is actually kind of funny. I mean, my mashup right now isn't that synced up well. But it's just really funny to watch this. Uh, just kind of surf the net for it. Uh, I usually don't like to mention these things unless they're really funny. But this is shot for shot. And just really fun to actually watch. Oh, that's the shot from that one. That's the one from that one. I'd hate to kind of do that, but I really do enjoy mashups as it is. But video mashups even more so. And this is just awesome. I remember kind of got to go off on a tangent here. Uh, Beastie Boys uh, Intergalactic, which I believe which the album this was also, was like my freaking soundtrack to one of my summers. Uh, we used to actually go down to the Celebration Station and play Laser Tag, and they let you play whatever music you want. And we would play that CD religiously, and we kind of had a team going, and we would basically play against other teams and, you know, play this music, play Intergalactic all the time, and love that. It was a good summer. Uh, I think it was right before I had my car, so it was like around 15 that summer, was basically beach or the movies, or mall. Uh, moving on here. Let's go to Gamefly real quick. Gamefly, I'm going to have to give props to. I, I've, I always say good things about Gamefly. But even more so recently, they've been on top of getting stuff and shipping stuff out. In which case, I mentioned before, I sent Far Cry 2 back. Maybe hoping that they give me God of War 3, if, you know, even though they moved the day up for it. It would be really, really close. A miracle almost. But it looks like they actually shipped God of War 3 to me through their uh, fast return thing. I guess they noticed they got it when it was coming to them. And they're like, okay, cool, ship it back. So they know I have a disc coming back. I think they don't know which one. But luckily, they were nice enough that they actually shipped me God of War 3. So uh, kudos to uh, Gamefly. I'm going to have another game to play. I played uh, Divinity 2 a lot today and really enjoyed it. Of course, Modern Warfare 2 and a little bit more of Creeper World because I love Creeper World. I'm almost done with that. But uh, hopefully, I'll have God of War 3. You know, not anticipating too much from it. I kind of got bored with it after the second one and the PSP game was more of the same. This is probably just going to be even more and more of the same. But hopefully, it'll kind of finish it out. I mean, if anything, people always compare games to God of War and it's nice to see what what the series is going to come to now in which case I expect a really fluid super hopefully not too QTE heavy uh, experience but as always I'd like to thank you guys for watching that's pretty much it and I'll catch you next time